and it's never offered so many choices to so many drivers. From wagon to hatchback, diesel to EV, manuals to dual clutch. The turbocharged 4 rated 210 horsepower or the Golf R's 290 horsepower. But more on those another time. Our front wheel drive. The gas edition comes with either a 5 speed manual or 6 speed automatic. The turbo diesel with either a 6 speed manual or dual clutch 2. VW's manuals are better these days, but save it for the GTI or Golf R. Mileage varies from as high as 42 miles per gallon highway on the Golf with the Golf Golf TSI. Each Golf has distinctly different personalities. This TDI model we're driving is a bit smoother than you don't have to keep the revs up. Now it handles well with firm steering, and the ride strikes the right balance between sport and comfort. Though it doesn't go around a corner as flat as, say, a Mazda 3 or Ford Focus, but it feels a little bit more at ease in daily driving. Hasn't been crash tested yet, but with new advanced materials and construction, we expect great things. Visibility has improved, and there are new safety lane departure warnings. Starting from about 18,000, the Golf comes moderately equipped with power features, Bluetooth, and our very nicely equipped TDI model has a sticker price of about 28,000 and has leatherette upholstery, Fender premium audio, and high intensity headlight. It trades flashy looks for great people and cargo space, but doesn't give up at all on the driving fun. Be sure to read our full review in the form of the Ford Focus and Mazda 3. So does the new Golf have what it takes to dethrone those Econo car handling champs? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter with the Car Fetter. Thanks for watching. It says, the 2015 Volkswagen Golf. The new Golf is lower, longer, and wider than before, but the styling has barely changed. There is some progress here, but it's more of a practical business as usual. The center stack is canted towards the driver, and the dashboard is a little more gently sculpted and flowing. Also, it's a little less drab thanks to some well seats are far better than most in this cost-conscious compact class. They're very supportive, though we would choose the cloth over this rubbery leatherette upholstery. But getting in and out is easy thanks to a roofline that doesn't slash headroom. The cargo area is 16.5 cubic feet large area. To 52.7 cubic feet. It's more spacious than the Mazda 3 and Focus. For performance, VW touches all the power bases, rated 170 horsepower, but if you want fuel economy, you're going to skip right past that to our tester's 2-liter turbo diesel engine, rated 150 horsepower.